Champagne, Prosecco and Cava. What is the difference? And why is Champagne so much more expensive? Though the big three are all sparkling wines, they're really quite different and this is for three reasons. The grapes used, the place they come from and the production methods. Let's take a look at Champagne. To give it a pudding analogy, this is the millefeuille of the wine world because it's fiddly to make but light, complex and elegant. It can only be made in the Champagne region of France so it is not a generic term for fizz. And the grapes used can only be Pinot Noir, Pinot Murnier and Chardonnay, either one, two or all three of these. Production-wise, this is traditional, and that means that the fizz gets into the bottle through a second fermentation in the bottle itself, rather than pumping the bubbles in by force. It also takes some time to age, which is time-consuming and therefore a lot more expensive. There's also the reputation of champagne to think about, and the fact that the supply is relatively small compared to the huge worldwide demand. If the champagne says Blanc de Blanc on the label, it means it's made with 100% Chardonnay. If it says Blanc de Noir, however, then it can only be made with the red grapes of Champagne, which are Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. Prosecco is more like the Victoria sponge of the wine world, because it's simple but effective and can be excellent. It's more functional as a fizz, but uh, still a bit special. The grape used is now known as Galera, but the wine can only be called Prosecco if it is produced within a tightly defined region within Treviso in northern Italy. And production-wise, it's made to be drunk young and fresh, so it doesn't need the cellaring of champagne. It's also made by the Charmat, or tank method, which is a lot cheaper because you can do it in bigger quantities and it's less time-consuming. One thing to be aware of with Prosecco is that there are two key styles, frizzante and spumante. Frizzante means semi-sparkling, so the bubbles dissipate a lot more quickly. Spumante is much higher quality, so they hold the bubbles much longer, and it often tends to be more expensive because of this. Cava is the pineapple upside down cake of the wine world. So not a cake for every day, but not one reserved for special occasions either. It can only be made in defined regions within Spain, and mostly in Catalonia. And the grapes used are local Spanish varieties, Macabeo, Paralada, and Zarilo. Traditionally, anyway, because nowadays you will see some of the champagne grapes sneaking in there, though this will be reflected in the price. Production-wise, this is also traditional, like champagne, so it is quite time-consuming, but there's a lot more of it available, and the fact that it's made with local Spanish grapes means that it's a lot less expensive. When thinking about style, Cava is a bit of a Marmite wine because its flavour profile tends to be a bit chalky and rubbery. But it is a fantastic wine to have with food, which makes it a great match with tapas. Prosecco, on the other hand, is a wonderful wine to have by itself because it's really light in alcohol, usually around 11%, and it's light, frothy and pear-scented. 